if you were to open for any international band, which band would you would you like to open for? Well, um, actually, I have two bands in mind right now. Okay. I wouldn't mind opening for Metallica, and uh, if if Queen with Fred Mercury is still alive, mm -hmm. I would love to open for them. Uh, before we go into another video, I have a fan question for you. Uh, it's from Imli Mila Longkamer, she's from Mo Shun. She asked if, uh, I mean, who do you think is the best singer in Ireland, male or female? Our own artist, TV. Yes, in Ireland, yes. Well, that was a, for me, now it sounds very simple, but mm -hmm. then again, it's very tough to answer, actually, mm -hmm. because I have a lot of favorite singers, both mm -hmm. males and females. So I, I have never ever rated any one of them better than anybody <laughs> so okay. far. I'm not trying to be diplomatic though. Uh, well, well if, you have, if you have to mention a particular name. Okay. There's one lady, um, lady uh, female singer, I mean. Okay. I think that was way back, some, some, some 10 or 15 years that I saw her singing in one church. Okay. And it seems that she's doing very well even, you know, uh, not in India, mm -hmm. but outside India. And okay. she's a Naga lady actually. I think if I'm not wrong, her name would be Lucia Pedico or something. Okay. I'm not wrong. I really admire her voice. Okay. Because that was the first time that I've ever seen a female vocalist from a different you know, uh, level. From a different level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think if you ask me, I her name is very hard to you know, get out of my mind. So we've got more questions for them, but before that, uh, let's check this video out and then we'll be back soon. I've been waiting We were too young to know love Now I hope the time is right Old enough to realize All the sweet memories Just you and me Under the moon Counting stars every night Till it's gone in the end I can't help to let you go Won't tell you how I feel I can't help to lose it all I can't imagine life down you stay with me just you and me in this world you're the most beautiful I knew I always loved you I believe Wanna be with you till the age I can't help to let you go Wanna tell you how I feel I can't help to lose it all I can't imagine life without you
one for you. This is from Along Imchen from Mongchun. He asked you if uh, which one was more tougher, winning the Desi Beats or winning the Hornby Rock Fest? It would be Kunkri Desi Beats with Rock and BMTV because um, I think that would be the first ever experience that we have ever had as a band and as individuals. There were a lot of challenges and the format that we got after reaching the spot mm -hmm. was just too difficult for us to you know, even uh, accept it also. The reason and the reason behind is that the, the, you know, um, the bindings that we get from the production house mm -hmm. and also one very most challenging part and I think that could be the only reason which nearly you know, made me back off from the competition is um, you know, to sing the whole, or to compete the whole competition singing Hindi song, mm -hmm. which was like never in my wildest dream that I've ever dreamed that mm -hmm. I would be, you know, uh, singing Hindi song, especially uh, in the main man and the place where um, classical Indian classical music is very popular. So there was a most. I think compare if I compare both the competition. Um, I'm not saying that not National Hornbill Rock Contest is less or anything else, but in its own format, it was also tough mm -hmm. because um, the number of bands that came for competition was too many. Mm -hmm. There were more than 20, uh, 30, around 36 bands, I guess. So it is not easy to compete among the all 36 bands and you know, win a, you know, be, become the winner. So in terms of numbers, it was difficult, but then again, when you see the overall um, concept of it, MTV was much, much challenging. Mm -hmm. I hope your question has been answered, Mr. Along. From mm -hmm. This question is for all of you again. Okay. What was the most negative word someone has said to you, starting with you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There may be, maybe not. But I'm um, ignorant of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the same question is for me. You know, a lot of people think that I'm in a wrong field, or some people feel sad for me that I'm in this field. But I don't feel that way. So that really discourages me when people start saying that um, through music I won't be able to make a living and survive. Well, yeah, I agree. It's hard. But then it's not impossible, right? So um, that's one, you know, negative word that really hurts me when people say that, you know, I'm in the wrong field because I'm not. Yeah. It's hard, but you know, it's not impossible. If I and if any one of us keep trying, and we are surviving still, we are getting and we are like living happily. And for me, job satisfaction. This is my job satisfaction. So I think that yeah. word really discourages yeah. me. Very negative. Um, so far, I don't remember anybody coming straight to my face and you know say something negative about the profession that I've chose. Um, so I don't remember that. But um, nothing, you know, nothing could be worse than you know people not encouraging you to do music. Mm -hmm. So if there is any sign of your friends or any close uh, dear ones. It's not showing any interest well, because you're doing music that, that, that says it all. So it may not be in words, but it's, you know, it's louder than the word, the action itself. Yeah? And um, it's not a direct answer to your question, but uh, I will also stick to Kini. I don't remember any person coming you know, mm -hmm. in front of me on the face. The sad thing about uh, being a musician here in Nagaland is that when you choose the field, it's not it's not about uh, fame, it's not about money because we can't get those things here. But it's about doing what you love, you know, loving your craft. But sad thing is that uh, many people criticize us or put us in the wrong line, line you know. So I think uh, you know all the viewers out there, I encourage you to kindly support us lo local musicians because we are not doing it for music or for fame, but we're just doing it because we love music. So it is our urge and it is our you know, humble request that you support us in the right manner that you should. But before we wrap up this whole episode, I would like to ask you uh, last 
advice or any anything that you want to give to the upcoming uh, musicians or to the viewers? Stay focused and uh, be committed to what you're doing. This applies to all other professions. The people who are more interested and we call ourselves as musicians, I think we should be more focused like Opet said and we should give more of our effort in learning music. Yeah? Not just knowing how to sing, but also know how to read and write so, music. So. so it's a wrap of another episode of the Backyard Bus. We had such a great time with all of you, so thank you so much for coming and being a part of the show. Thank you. I on behalf of all my team, we, we show our love and we show our support towards you and your music, so we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. So until another episode of the Backyard Bus, keep tuning in and keep sending us your videos and your songs so that we can play for you. See you.